Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your weekend reading. So today is the 31st, or oh, it's the 1st of August tomorrow. So this will be for the 31st, the 1st and the 2nd. Okay, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Um, it's been an amazing journey. Uh, if you are interested in taking classes with me, classes for August start in on the 8th of, um, of August. Uh, if you're in Australia, we're doing them, we're starting them at 9 a.m. Australian time on a Saturday morning. Whether that fits in with you overseas, I'm not sure, but you know, always drop me a line and let me know sort of what you would like to have and when, and I'll see if I can accommodate in my next lots of sessions. Um, because people are asking me for different things, but unless the demands are, it's really hard to sort of just do one lot. And I've yet to work out how to tape the, re the, the lessons and put them up for sale. So I'll get around to that soon. Um, if you would like a personal reading, all the details are down below. Uh, for a taped reading, I can do generally within three to four days. Um, the face-to-face -face readings, generally out a few days as well um, but contact me anyway and I'll give you the, the nearest availability that's probably the best thing to do all right and donations gratefully accepted gifts gratefully accepted um, instructions below beautiful let's get going on this weekend reading I have a feeling that that something is um, going to, that there's something going to happen this weekend Either someone's opening up lines of communication to you or there's something that's going to help you move forward on your journey. But something through communication. Big one for communication. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, nice split. All right, <laughs> so we have the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands is a card that talks about conflict. Now, it can be conflict between uh, between more than one, like between people, um, but it can also be in a conflict. But whatever this is, it's that feeling of going backwards and forwards, trying to work out where you're up to. It's not big fighting with people. It's sort of like that bickering, small amount of conflict. Um, it could be why you're waiting on some sort of apology or communication from someone. Let's just have a look. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so big communication. Um, Ace of Swords is the, the new beginning. It's a new beginning to something, a new start. And the sword represents communication, but it also re represents like clarity, seeing things clearly, having precision, really knowing the direction you're going in. Um, and I feel like some sort of communication is coming in this weekend. It's going to help you see the direction you're moving in. Um, but it's going to give you a much better idea of how you want to move forward. Beautiful. I love the Ace of Swords. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. So for some of you, you've been waiting patiently for this communication. Um, it could have taken a while to come in. You may have had some sort of bickering uh, issues with someone that sort of held you back from doing this. You may have felt that it was them that needed to apologise here with that sword. But... There's also this feeling here that um, you felt like contacting them, um, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. There's a feeling that you might have felt like you wanted to make contact, but I feel like either you've tried and it's gone on deaf ears or you've stepped back to allow this to unfold as it should. Um, oh, by the way, I'm using the um, Golden Tarot, I think it's called. Okay, we have the Strength card coming through. And then the Ace of Coins. Beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, so what we're talking about here is both people having some lessons to learn from this experience. And obviously, you know, it, it's something to do with the way we communicate, the way that we perhaps we don't always communicate in a way that's um, clear, healthy. Um, and sometimes what happens is when people have sort of this little bit of a narcissistic bent, sometimes they withdraw communication to actually hurt. Um, and I know it's a really cruel thing, but it's a lesson they've learned from childhood. So sometimes when people withdraw and refuse to speak to you, the refusing to speak to you can be sort of a little bit of a, um, an energy of selfishness. 
but it also can be that perhaps in childhood they weren't listened to or that particular tool in relationships has helped them to feel safe. So there's some sort of energy here of something coming to manifestation, but I feel that this communication has been a lesson for both. Um, this isn't just a lesson that's learned on one side. This, you could be dealing with a Leo here. Um, there's a very strong sense that the lesson has been twofold. It's not just been one person. So although someone's withdrawn communication, perhaps the way you com communicated previously may not have been um, may not have been recepted. Um, trying to think how to explain it. They may not have anticipated, listened, or accepted the way you spoke but maybe that's the way you presented it too. So there's sort of an energy of both here, um, having issues and problems. But I do feel like somebody is about to make some sort of offer here. So whether this is romantic, a family situation or whatever it is for you, the miscommunication is very, very evident in this sort of situation. But what I do feel is that somebody is realising that perhaps not communicating or not really addressing the problem has left things very stale, very stagnant. And I do believe that they've had issues and problems. And like we always say, that's what karma is about. It's to teach you those things. So somebody's coming in with some sort of offer here of something long-term. If it's romantic, then it may be a long-term relationship. But if this is family or friends, it may be just to put the relationship back into perspective. All right, let's see what else is going on. Radio. so I have the knight here with that coin. That was the ace of coins we just saw. So the knight is a very slow-moving knight. So for some of you, this altercation, this bickering, whatever happened between you and someone else, I feel like probably happened quite a long time ago. And you had someone here who very much stood in that masculine energy of ego and sort of held on to things. Um, and that's why it's taken a long time for them to come around. Um, but I feel that there's been some sort of, I feel that they've wore this burden. So whatever happened here, it's like they've taken that to heart and they've really tried to understand um, maybe their own inadequacies in regard to communication, but perhaps understanding now because of their own stuff where you come from there. Um, I feel like this person may have taken their time because they were dealing with their own pain in the meantime. So, all right, let's see where this is going. Oh, kidoki. All right. All right. So we have the Hermit card coming through. Now, this could apply to you or both. Um, but there has been some healing going on here. There's been some deep soul searching, some going inside, some really trying to understand here. Through more the intuition rather than the intellect, um, because the Knight of Coins is showing um, that intellectualizing the feelings, the Hermit showing more inter internalizing the feelings. So I feel like somebody's really um, gone inside to find the answers. You may have done that too, and the victory cards here. So someone's now recognizing you for for whatever reason i feel that this person was so consumed by the situation the argument the words whatever was said that perhaps they weren't really looking at why you'd said them or who you are that type of thing but it's sort of turning around here um, and this person's recognizing you now yeah we have the judgment card so definitely somebody returning to resolve something somebody's had some sort of rebirth here some sort of realization some sort of awakening um, and I feel like that they've healed the things that were holding them back. And I feel that they need to sort of talk to you about those now, because I think they're understanding both perspectives now. All right, six of cups. So we're talking about somebody here from your past, which is quite, I mean, if you've had an argument, you're not talking to someone, of course, the person's going to be from your past. But it could also signify that they, this person has a very strong soulmate connection to you, a very strong um bond to you um there could have been a, a friendship here um but some sort of something that was very long and ongoing so it could be 
it could be a family member as well the six of cups does talk about nostalgia and here we are this is this person you've been dealing with now they didn't necessarily have or don't necessarily have to be male this is someone who could have been quite um <laughs> as i always say quite snippety in their in their approach um but this person now has his sword held high which means he's ready to talk um and per perhaps sort of stand back on the you know, more, if this was the Knight of Swords, you would expect someone to be a little bit more aggressive in their approach. But I feel like this person is coming forward in a very adult way. I think they clearly want to discuss what happened to see if they can understand both sides of the, the, the coin. Um, and I think they are starting to see that here. All right, and we have the Hierophant, beautiful. So I feel like it's somebody who wants stability back in their life. Perhaps this has created some sort of dis comfort for them along the way as it may have done for you too but whoever this is you know this person has been very very much in their intellectual mind very much in their masculine the 3d ego sort of energy and i feel like that's softening for them now they're starting to sort of look at the higher or the higher perspective to this beautiful now again some, some of you may be dealing with a leo there's a lot of leo across this reading of course there's air signs too but the leo is very strong um, if this person doesn't have a strong leo in their chart it could be that they have the attributes of a leo so they may be very um very dynamic in their approach very fiery all right and there's the page of swords coming through this person has been keeping track of you the whole time so this is a person that although um although they may not have been talking to you there was obviously you know perhaps asking people how you were doing uh, may have been checking you out on social media if they have access to your social media but this person's been keeping an eye on you the whole time um i'm really drawn to the butterfly in this card so i do think this person has experienced some sort of transformation here um, and just hope he doesn't come in those brown tights. Um, it would look bad on a woman too. Come on. They're ghastly looking things. <laughs> we have the three of cups coming through. So there's a reunion here. There's celebration. There's a coming together of people. Um, for those of you, this is a family member. Um, this sort of will heal a lot of uh, energy in your family that perhaps hasn't been quite so... Um, you know perhaps it's been a bumpy road often when we have um conflict in families it divides people and it could also be um you know this sort of coming together is you know people are happy that people are talking again you know and there's a nice sort of environment of moving in the right direction let's say okay let's draw you an oracle card for the weekend Now, I would like to, to read all of them, but I think there's only two. Yeah, I'll read both. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty, pretty much what I said. We have the tribe here, so I feel like this person is something to do with, as I said, your family or some sort of close bond you have. It could be a close friend, um, but there's some sort of energy here of this person being part of your, part of your journey. So this is about community, belonging, being seen and understood by others. That's why you have the victory card here. A sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. So I feel like um, this person coming back has sort of completed the energy of your tribe or the energy of your family coming back together. And I feel like that's really good for everybody. Um, the other card I've got here, which quite interestingly is 17, which is an eight. Um, and it is the fates. So let's have a look at that, 17. Well, there it is. This is about fate, karma and acceptance. There are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The serenity prayer is cited here, you know, grant me the um, serenity to change the things I, uh, sorry, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Um, so I think it's very much about putting things back in their place, understanding that this situation does require some change, perhaps not just on one person's behalf, but 
on everybody's behalf. So really nice reading. So have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Thanks.